It's time to get boxer strong. Shadow boxing, then dumbbells. Let's go. Here we go. I'm excited for this one. We've got six rounds of shadow boxing and then another three rounds of a dumbbell circuit. Let's do this thing. We're about to start round one. Here we go. Let's start with the jab. Jab and move. We're going to jab and move, right? Take it out the midline. Keep it nice and light. Easy, easy, easy. We're just beginning. All right. Really important to just add a little bit of that head movement. Move the feet, move the head. We jab in the between. That's it. Nice and light, nice and light. Keeping those elbows not out, not flared out. Now go into that double jab. So keep those elbows in, right? And we throw right down the pipeline, right down the middle. Boom, boom. Double jab here. Good. Double jab and move. Same thing. Same with the sassiness of that head movement. Same with the footwork. And we are going to add on. So here we go. Double jab into a rear uppercut. So jab, jab, rear uppercut. One, one, six. That's it. <clears throat> or 114, depending on where you've been training or where you've coached. Okay, jab, jab, double um, jab into that rear uppercut. Okay, let's add. We're going to duck and roll. So, as we duck and roll, we slip towards the back hand. We roll towards the lead hand. Double jab, uppercut, duck and roll. And as you guessed, we are about to counter. And here we go. We add the lead hook. So one, one, six, move the head, three. Or one, one, four, move the head, three. Okay, I give you both uh, both numeric systems here. Boom, doesn't really matter the number, just execute those punches. Lead, lead back, under, over with that lead hook. Good, good, we're gonna add here, you ready? Here we go. Now we're gonna add a hook, another one. You're gonna drop down, use those legs, and hit that body shot. So, one, one, up, duck, roll, bang, bang, one to the head, one to the body, one hook rather to the head and one hook to the body. Now we're going to add another body shot from the rear. So, jab, jab, uppercut, duck, roll, three, three body, and back hook into the body. That's it, looking good, looking good, you got it, boom, boom, bang, nice work. Boom, boom, lots of power here. Now, we're gonna add body, then we add another hook from the back, rear hook to the top. Jab, jab, up, duck, roll, hook, 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 hook. We travel, head, body, body, head. Now, let's drill it. Hook to the head, hook to the body, hook to the body, hook to the head. Up, down, down, up. Left, left, right, right if you're orthodox, and obviously the opposite if you're a left-handed southpaw. That's it. Boom. We've got 10 more seconds. Bang, boom, bang. Keep following along. Huh, huh, huh. You find that power. Hook to the head, hook to the body, hook to the body, hook to the head. Travel it up, down, down, up. And final one and rest. Nice, nice work. How did you do in round one? Go ahead, drop a comment. Let me know how you are feeling. I'm going to constantly remind you to drop a comment because I love interacting with you. I do. I love when you guys tell me how you're feeling. You tell me maybe what your favorite punch is, what your favorite combo is. Um, get ready. We're about to hit up round two. So shake it nice and loose. Get ready for round two in three, two. All right. Here we go. We're going to start with the one, two, jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, up top to the head. Turn those hands over. Bang, bang. Again, down the pipeline, down the middle. One, two. And we move along. One, two. Good. Move the head in between. Move the footwork in between. Bop, bop. Bang, bang. Good job. Let's go about like 10 more seconds here. One, two. So these are all stacked combinations, right? I'm going to throw. We start with a few punches and then we keep adding. So we're going to add here. What we did here is we go one, two. We're going to take a step forward and then we're going to go another one, two. So you're being the aggressor, okay? One, two, step, one, two. So we're not stringing along jab, cross, jab, cross. We're treating it as two separate combinations and we're adding that footwork in between. We're adding that step forward, okay? You're being aggressive. Nice work. One, two, step, one, two. One, two, forward, one, two. Now let's add. We're going to duck it right under and back. So we're anticipating a shot coming at us. And we're just ducking under and creating that space. 
So one, two up, duck back. Good. One, two up, duck back, and we're gonna add now that rear uppercut into a lead uppercut. Back and front uppercut. One, two, one, two, back, up, up. Everything's up top. One, two, up, one, two, back, up, up. Good, we're using that space. Get used to like adding footwork to your combinations. Boom, boom. All right, this is legit just three separate combinations. It's the one, two is combo one, a one, two is combo two, and then an up, up is a combo three. Boom, 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 boom. Take it back, bang, bang. Now we're gonna add a cross. So one, two, step forward. One, two, duck it back, up, up, cross. Nice. That's it. One, two, one, two, back, up, up, cross. Good, let's do another one. Uh, up, back, up, up, cross. And we're about to add, we take it one, two, one, two, back, up, up, cross, hook. That's it. Now, as you come back, I want you to whip those uppercuts into the cross hook. If you're gonna find some, uh, some momentum, bang, 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 bang. So I want you to try to pick up that speed here, okay? So pop, 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 take it back, bang, 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 bang. That is a lot of momentum. You're doing great. I hope you enjoy my sound effects. Um, one, two, one, two, take it back. Up, up, cross hook. Excellent. Let's go. Roll three, two, roll two, three. Now we're going to go side to side here. Backhand, front hand, front hand, backhand. Good. Keep it moving now. Head action and counter shots. Two punches at a time. Yup, that's it. Keep it moving. We're planting the feet and we're just rolling it side to side, adding two punches. Cross hook, hook cross, cross hook, cross in three, two, and one. Rest. Round two is done. So we're gonna do six total rounds for our workout today. And then at the end of our six rounds, I've got a dumbbell circuit for you. So if you don't have weights at home, that is okay. You do the six rounds and you move along. Or you maybe create weights out of, you know, I don't know, cold spring bottles or something, water bottles or whatever you have at home. Or if you're at the gym. Or you could just do the shadow boxing and be done. Okay? Now, let's move on to round three. We're going to catch and jab. Catch and jab. Now, notice, you notice my backhand? It's kind of like catching. I'm literally catching their jab and I'm throwing my jab. So we're exchanging punches at the same time, okay? So that you're catching their jab and throwing the jab. Now, this is a little bit more advanced. We're going to counter jab by stepping that back foot out to the side, slipping and throwing another jab. So it's a double jab. Now, if this is too you know complicated or you just don't get it, just throw double jab and, and move in between. All right, now we're gonna add a cross and step back in. So as we step back with the back foot out, you have to step back in while you throw the cross. One, one, two. Okay, yes, it's a little bit more advanced. You're adding some defense and counter punches all at the same time. Now we're gonna add the uppercut. So catch, jab, counter, jab, cross, uppercut. One, one, two, five. And again, if the catch, if the defense is too much, just treat it as a regular combination, okay? It's okay. Catch one, counter one, two, five. And stepping that back foot right back in to throw that right hand or left of your southpaw. Now we're gonna add um, a double jab right after it. So catch one, counter one, two, five, one, one. And we're gonna fade out those jabs. Catch one, counter one, two, five, one, one. Good. Do the best that you can. Now we're going to add a body shot. Boom, boom. Bang, boom, boom, bang. We're going to add a rear uppercut to the body right down the middle into that soft belly tissue. Bang, 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 bang. Good. Let's do that again. So we're kind of working our angles. Bang, bang, bang. And we throw that shot to the body from the backhand into that like soft part of their abdomen. That's it. Nice. Let's go again. We catch and exchange a jab. We counter that jab and defend. We go cross uppercut, jab, jab. Now two body shot, up, body shot with the shovel lead hook, okay? Huh, 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 bang, boom, 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 body, body. That's it, body, body. It's the rear uppercut into a lead body shot. That's it, that's it, all right. Let's go, up, body, boom, boom. 
Up body. Up body. Come on. Everything is downstairs. Uppercut into that hook to the body. Both shots to the body. Let's go. Lots of power. Use those hips. Bang, bang. Use those legs. Level changes so you know you're getting to the body. You got to dig in. You got to face in. Face into the body. Get aggressive. Bang, boom. That's it again. Uh-huh. Three, two, rest. Woo! All right, champ. How you feeling? You are halfway through your shadow boxing. Catch your breath. Get your water towel off if you need to. Walk it off. Feel good about yourself. That's it. You're doing fantastic. Smile a little. They should, feel be, they should be feeling real good right now. Ten more seconds. Okay. Here we go. We're going to move into that fourth round. So you're halfway through the shadow boxing. Let's do it. I want that lead hook right here. Lead hook. Bang. Now we're going to keep that lead hook kind of wide. Bang. Throw that three wide. Pop. Flip it out. Out. And just drop it in. Treating it like, almost like it's a long jab. Boom. Now you're going to step out with it. Step. So you're going to add a step hook. Boom. So you're, again, being the aggressor. You're gaining in some inches. You're gaining in. Step into that hook. Watch me. Step into the hook twice. So you're going to really use your feet. Boom. Boom. Travel it out. It's kind of like stepping jab. But now you're going to step in with the, with the hook. And you're going to do it twice. Good. Again. Uh, uh. Get aggressive. All right. Now we're going to add the cross. Three, three, two. But you're adding the footwork. So step in. Step in. Cross. Going right in. You're being the bully here. Boom, boom, boom. You're being the bully. Yep. That's it. Very offensive. Very offensive. Three, three, two. Let's step it in. Good. Now we're going to defend and duck. So we're going to expect some counter punch coming our way. Right? It could be a jab. It could be a hook. It could be a cross. We just duck that punch. Bang, 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 bang. Good. And we sit into the seat. Now, after that, we are going to add another cross. So it's three, three, two. As you're stepping it forward, duck into another two. It's another cross. Boom, boom, bang, step, cross. Good. That's it. Get in, get in. Banks. Defend. Cross. Pivot that back foot, that cross, so it's powerful. Boom. Use those hips, so it's powerful. Powerful punches. Now we're going to add cross jab. Okay, cross jab. So, step in, step in. Two, duck. Two, one. Excellent job. Good. Now we're going to add another cross. Here we go. Step, step. Uh-huh. Can you add another cross at the end? So, hook, hook, cross, cross, jab, cross. Okay? Get fancy with the footwork. We add a little defense in between the combination. So, it's a 3-3-2, three, three, and then a 2-1-2. Two, two. Good. That's it. All right, get ready. Get set. We drill. So, 2-1-2. Two, two. Boom, boom, boom. Cross, cross, jab, cross. Keep it straight. Okay, now watch me now. You're gonna go cross, jab, cross, duck, cross, jab, cross, duck, cross, jab, cross, duck. Straight punches down the middle. Yes, and then sit into the seat. Counter right away. Two, one, two, duck, two, one, two, duck, two, one, two, duck, two, one, two, duck. Come on. Three, two, and rest. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. How you doing? How are you doing? You breathing heavy? Woo! Nice. Give me a comment below. How are you feeling? Give this video a thumbs up so I know you're enjoying the workout. Let me know. Let me know. And of course, at the end of the workout, when you're done, I would love for you to share this with others. I want everyone to benefit from the beauty that is boxing. All right. Let's move on. Here we go. Round five. Jab to the head. Jab to the body. Level changes. Jab to the head. Jab to the body. Nice and quick. Jab to the head. Jab to the body. Again, lots of movement in between. We are stacking our combination, so we will add in about 10 seconds. Jab to the head, jab to the body. Good, let's do that again. And then we add jab to the head, jab to the body, back to a jab up top. So it's a triple jab. Jab up, down, up. Nice. Keeping the jab hands out, right? Creating space, right? Not letting your opponent come in. These are nice long jabs, and we add a block. 
So you're going to take that left hand and block or right if you're southpaw. So I want you to kind of, have you heard of the, the phrase low, roll with the punches? So you're just going to eat that punch and block, okay? Now we're going to block with that back hand. So two blocks here. Jab up, down, up, block, block. Good. Notice the elbows come in. Right, we're covering both the body and the head. Keeping the elbows in, keeping it tight, a tight, tight stance. Good. Nice job, let's do that again. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep practicing this. Triple jab, block, block. Triple jab, block, block. And of course your target areas are different, it's always hit body. Now we're gonna add a lead uppercut to the body. So one, 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 block, block, into a lead uppercut to the body. Jab, 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 block, block, uppercut to the body. That's it again. Now we add the cross. Here we go. Jab up, down, up, block, block, five, two. Jab up, jab down, block, block, five, two. Come on. Jab up, jab down, jab up, block, block, five, two. Let's go, let's go. You got it. You got it. Let's do this for another 15 more seconds. Boom, 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 bang. Try to get quicker now with this, right? You're defending some punches, and then you're going to counter punch with that uppercut cross, and we will add, let's add that lead hook because it only makes sense. Bang, bang, bang. Good. One up top, one to the body, one up top. Let's go with those two blocks. Five, two, three. Nice. Let's go for another 15 seconds like this. Let's go. It's a beautiful combination. Come on. Up, down, up, block, block. Uppercut, cross, hook. Yes, that's it. Let's go. We got in three, two, one. Let's drill. Five, two, three. Up, cross, hook. Let's go. Whip it. Bang. Whip it. Slide those elbows across. That's it. Ba, ba, ba. Everything up top. Bang, bang, bang. Everything up top. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Come on. 15 more seconds. Make some noise. Get, like, get crazy. Get crazy. Throw those three punches and get wild. Fuck wild. Let's go. Five seconds. Come on. This is your chance. Yup. So if you couldn't get the combination, this is where you get it now. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right. There is one more round. And like I mentioned before, have your dumbbells handy. Because after this round, we are going to do a circuit. So we're going to work on that strength. So at this point, I hope you are sweating, breathing heavy. I hope you're enjoying the workout so far. You're five, five rounds in. One more to go. You are killing it, my friend. You are doing incredible. Incredible. Let me know how you're doing. And then let's start round six. All right. Jab. And then we're going to step towards the right. Or you can jab step towards the left if you are southpaw. Okay. And what I mean by southpaw, you're lefty handed. So jab, step to the right as an orthodox fighter, as a right handed fighter. And then we add a lead uppercut. So jab towards the backhand into a lead uppercut. Boom. Step. Boom. Good. So you're anticipating, you're kind of dancing with your opponent right here. Boom, boom, right? You're anticipating your opponent going to the side and you're going along with it. Now let's add an uppercut cross, okay? So it's going to be a jab, step, up cross. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we've done this before. Uppercut cross, it's just natural, it feels good. Bang, bang, nice work. Again, let's jab, step, add footwork action. Give me that uppercut cross. All right, and we're going to go into another step. But this time, you're going to step towards the lead hand and add a lead hook. Two, step, three. Dance with your opponent. What I like about this is that you're, you're just teaching yourself how to move laterally. Okay? This is, you know, nice to practice. Jab, up, cross, hook, cross. And you add those steps in between. Jab, step, five, two, step, three, two. Dancing around your opponent a little bit. Working the lateral movement. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. One punch, two punches, two punches. Let's add, here we go. We're going to add a little shoe shot into the body, digging in. So let's go. One, step, five, two, step, three, two, da, 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 da. A little quick flurries to the body, a little sh quick shoe shot and four uppercuts to the body. That's it. Bang, 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 bang. Nice and quick. I like, I like my shoe shot because it just gives you a chance to work on some speed. Good. All right, let's add, we're gonna add a hook up top and then a hook 
from the back. So a lead hook and a rear hook. One, step, five, two, step, three, two, shoe shine, three, four, or three, six, if this is how you learned it. That's how I used to um, learn it. Boom, boom, bang, boom, ba, 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 bang, bang. As soon as you hit those flurries to the body, you really want to whip those hooks up top, okay? So you want to be quick, ba, 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 show me the power by utilizing your hips. Remember, power is generated from the ground up. Bang, bang, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, boom, boom. All right, shoe shine, shoe shine for me. Let's go, you got it. Nice. All right. Keep shoe shining. Keep shoe shining. You got it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now we're going to add shoe shine into the hook, 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 hook. And I want you to work this baby. Hook those body and the head and just up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Five seconds, four seconds, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Unwrap your hands if you want to. We are going to get started. Grab your dumbbells. Make sure you have um, a set of heavy, fairly heavy weights and a set of medium weights. Um, I'm working, I believe, with 25s and 17 and a half pounds right now. That's what I'm working with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you four exercises to do. Let's pick up those heavy weights and we're going to repeat it three times. Okay, so you're going to have a minute here. So we're going to go drop off the lunge, same leg steps back, pick up the lunge, and then we're going to switch our feet. Drop off into the lunge position, reverse lunge. Pick it up, drive through that front leg. So this is all lower body. I like the functional part of this that you're dropping things and picking them up and we're really driving through our hips and our glutes. You gotta really push through those heels, right? So we're gonna do everything for a minute today. We'll get 15 seconds of rest in between every exercise and in between the rounds. Make sure you're alternating right and left and keep breathing. Good work, that's it. We've got about 20 seconds to go. We're gonna work the power of our legs. Really important to work our strength training. If you wanna be a better fighter, of course, and just a well-rounded, fit person in general, you have to work your weight training, your strength training. It's so, so important. Good, in three, two, and one, rest. Okay, catch your break. We are going to go into a, um, a exercise two okay you're gonna grab those heavies again and we're gonna work here we're gonna wrap around the deadlift center high pull okay you're gonna take it from the front to the side and you're gonna hammer curl boom oh I said 25 pounds I'm carrying two and a half 22 and a half rather high pull so you wrap it around the front and you're gonna take it off to the side and the elbows tucked in and you work a hammer curl. Nice. Side, wrap it around to the front, come on up. It's like you're cleaning it up. Mm -hmm. I call it a high pull, but it's like a clean. Take it off to the front, up to the side, elbows tucked in and really find the curl so those biceps working. So what are you working here? Posterior chain, where all the muscles are working behind the body. So you're working your hamstrings and glutes and lower back. Um, absolute core is working here. And then once your high pull is working, you're doing the, the deltoids, the shoulders, and of course your curls work the biceps. So multiple muscle groups here. You got three, two, and one. All right, what I'm gonna ask you to do is lower, um, go a little bit lower here. We're gonna work in a ladder. So you're gonna grab the one lighter dumbbell, okay? And we're going to add a swing and a swing to push. So we're gonna work one side first. 30 seconds, we're gonna swing, swing to push. There's a lot of momentum. Do you want some punching power? Okay, well then you gotta work on punching. And we're doing this literally weighted. You gotta work on push exercise. Pull in push exercises. Here this is a push exercise. So we're gonna use the swing for glute and hip strike. And then now we're gonna push forward, propel it forward, shoulders, chest, back is working all in unison. In three seconds, we're gonna switch those hands. Two and one, here we go. Swing shoulder level and then use momentum push working on power explosiveness right this is all about being explosive boom up and curl it and push good all about explosive power good work 10 more seconds and my other hand is kind of 
you know, swaying along with it in order to uh, balance. Let it drop, 15 seconds here. We're gonna work on that fourth exercise, okay? And we're gonna work on some core. So you're gonna use both dumbbells, okay? We're gonna work a pull exercise, a rotational exercise, and a push exercise. So two rows, two rows, twist right, twist left. Jump your legs out to plank and give me that push up. Jump your legs back into bear position in this quadruped position. Notice the knees are directly underneath those hips. We are driving those dumbbells up along the waist side. Turn and turn. Jump your legs all the way out and go ahead into that push up. This is so freaking strong, champs. Like, this is all about really holding your body weight, using the resistance of those dumbbells, and just giving it all that you've got. The way I like to work my exercises, I like to metabolically condition. All right, so, and I like to work multiple muscle groups at the same time. I, I just, this is how I like to work. I find that I gain a lot of strength here. I like to work many muscle groups at the same time. Um, because, you know, when you're boxing, you're, you're utilizing all of your, your muscles, right? So, I don't want to isolate really everything. I like to get everything all in one shot. And rest. Excellent work. So, those are your four exercises, right? We are done with round one. We're going to go ahead into round two. So you're gonna put those medium weights to the side and go ahead, grab those heavies and we're gonna work that lower body. So we're working legs, multiple things happening here. We drop them off, we pick them up, right? And we use the same leg and then we're gonna switch those legs. We drop it off, keeping the chest forward and then we pick them up. Drive, drive, drive through those legs, okay? So I like the depth. The reason I like to drop off those weights because I like the depth and range of motion. That's how you work hard, right? It's big, big, big um, depth in motion. A lot of range of motion. And really forcing those muscles to work. You're doing excellent. Here we go. Keep working at it. Do it again. Mm -hmm. You got it. Let's do it again. Good, we've got 10 more seconds here. Come on, we're about to move on to exercise two in three, two, and let it go. Full deep breath in. All right, we're gonna wrap around that deadlift. So you're gonna continue to get back um, with those heavy weights. Full deep breath, of course, catch your breath. We have five seconds. All right, let's work those multiple muscle groups, let's go. Take it to the side, wrap it around the front. Come on up, high pull it, bang, ha. Huh. Take it front, wrap it around the side. Come on up, give me that hammer curl. Work in the biceps, strong upper body. Strong lower body. Good. That's it, nice. Take it down, wrap it around. Curl, everything you got, 30 seconds. work that's it remember one rep at a time one breath at a time this isn't about going fast this is about staying the course and going strong it's about strength five more seconds you got it all right drop it off nice done with that one we're gonna go ahead into the unilateral work that is the um, the swing and swing to push. Remember that one? We're gonna go ahead, grab it with that right hand, and let's begin. Swing it up, push it. Explosiveness here. There's an like explosion. Power. I'm really curious. The next time you do this workout, the next time you punch something, how strong are your punches gonna feel? Oh man, I'm feeling this one. Clearly, I'm feeling this one. And it's okay to come back out and you can get back in, right? This is a timed interval. You're gonna do the best that you can. Like, I'm clearly struggling here. It's hard, it's hard. But that's the point. Switch those hands. Come on, you could do it. Struggle bus, who's on it with me? Who's on the struggle bus with me? <laughs> Look, this is how you have to work. This has to feel like a struggle, okay? And you have to push through it. That's how you come out as a winner. Am I right? 
Come on, you got this. Keep breathing. Rep as much as you can. You can always take a second break. Use your breath and get back in the game. All right, let it go. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. Exercise number four, where we take the bear, row, row, twist, twist, and then we jump it out and we go into that push-up position. So knees off the ground, go ahead, row, try to keep it as steady as possible. And then we drive those hips down, working those obliques, core, yup, and then you jump those legs out. Go ahead, one push-up. So pull, pull, twist, twist, and push. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now you pace yourself. You pace yourself, that's it. Let's go, beast it out a little bit. You got it. Doing great. 20 seconds left. Nice. Nice. Come on, twist. Let's go, baby. Twist and then push up. Get those reps in. Let's do it. You've got 30 seconds, two and one. Let it go. Okay. Check it, check it, check it. One more round you could do it grab those heavies baby let's work those legs let's go drop it off and lunge press come back pick it up come on switch sides always be alternating drop off pick up and alternate push through those heels Work. Keep at it. Yup, yup. Drive, drive through. Drive, drive through. All right, we've got 20 seconds to go. Full deep breath in. 10 more seconds. Come on. Push through now, champ. Remember, exercise one of round three is pretty much done. You don't want to do this anymore. Three, two, one. Let it go. Catch your breath. How, how you feeling? How you feeling? Let me know in the comment section. How are you doing? <laughs> All right. Let's go into that wraparound deadlift and we alternate those upper body exercises. So start off to the side, hip hinge. Drive it up to the center, high pull, bang. Shoulders, baby. Drive it down, working the core, posterior chain. Drive it up, biceps. Boom. Mm -hmm. Less than 45 seconds to go. Get your muscles, come on. Get your muscles. Define, get strong. Nice, do that again. Come on, you can do it. Wrap it around deadlift. Wrap it up to the front. Pull. Front. To the side. And lift. Come on. Yes. You're doing fantastic. You got it. You got it. Come on. Five seconds to go. And drop it. Let it go. Two exercises left. And yes, you do have a little bonus. Not a long bonus. But a little one and yeah I'm, I'm telling my camera guy right here like I'm shaking I'm shaking <laughs> Ooh, I'm shaking it's a good thing all right this this may be my this is a I have a love-hate relationship with this one <laughs> I mean love hate I mean I love to hate this one and I hate to love this one I mean seriously this is a tough one keep moving we swing and we push lot of explosive movement at this point here's what I'm complaining about my grip strength this is really what what is is uh, you know feeling what's hurting pretty much it's like grip strength and you know what it's good to work on that it's good to struggle a little bit right it's a good thing to push through it, it creates a strong character out of you if you're able to just like you know, if it's uncomfortable, just dig through. 
be uncomfortable. That discomfort is what grows you. We have five more seconds. And then we go on to that final exercise. Three, two, and one. Let it go. Take it down to the ground. Okay, we have got the bare rows into the twist into the push up. Let's stay strong. Here we go. Lift now. Row, row. Boom. Boom. Twist it now. Bang. Bang. Jump it out. And down, up. Find your flow. Row. Pull, pull here. Rotate and rotate here. Jump out and push. Good. You got it. That's right. That's right, champs. Come on. We are about 20 seconds away. And like I said, I'm not going to lie to you. There will be a bonus, but it's not going to be a long one, I promise. Because this one is killer. So I get it. But we do have to work just a little extra something at the end. Yup, now we've got less than 10 seconds. Keep working, baby. Keep working. All right, do me a favor now. Pump up push-ups. Pump up those push-ups. Yup, yup, yup. Let's go. Keep pumping. Keep pumping those push-ups. Keep pumping. One at a time. One at a time. One breath at a time. One movement at a time. One breath at a time. One movement at a time. Do your best. If you're going to drop down to your knees, drop down to your knees. It's a-okay. Let it burn a little. Let it burn. All right, check it out. At least one more now. And hold it. For four, three, two, done. We're done. We are done. You should be so proud of yourself. Way to go, champ. Wow, champ, you did it. You know it was a good workout since I did curse just now. S-H-I-T. <laughs> anyway, you did amazing, and I'm so proud of you. Now you know what to do. Go ahead, leave me a comment. Let me know how you did. Smash that thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this workout. Go ahead, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a beat. And most importantly, feel good about yourselves today. I can't wait to see you next time.